Well, hello there, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome back to Radiant Moon Tarot. My name is Victoria. We are having a look at new love energy for all of you singles out there, and we're looking at July and August, the summer of 2024. So let's get into your energy, shall we? We've got Venus in Cancer at the moment when I do this reading, moving into Leo July 11th, and there she will stay until August 3rd. So unlike last year... Um, unlike last year, Venus is direct this year and not in retrograde. So that's a good thing. Um, we also, uh, so and Venus, of course, being the planet of love, right? Love, self-love, self-care, love of other people, creation, right? So it's a very fertile time for you to get out there and meet new people, right? Leo energy is very vibrant, very fun loving. Um, and so at the very least, get out and have some fun and uh, throughout your summer, right? Get a smile on your face, try something new, all that kind of stuff. You just never know. Um, your energy could really shift in a really positive way. Um, we do have, you may feel just so you're aware, you may feel kind of a little bit of pressure. Um, in the summer here, we do have a full moon in Capricorn. This is on the 21st of July. It's the second full moon in the month, right? So we had one in June in Capricorn and now another one in July. So it is a blue moon. And this one is at the 29th degree, which is an aneurotic degree. So it's like now or never, right? And so, but you might feel a little bit like now or never, or you might feel like you have to do something different, right? To find love in your life. But we also do have Saturn retrograde and Pisces at the time. And so retrograde energy is about reflecting, um, reviving, renewing, uh, reassessing. And Pisces can really be about your dreams, right? And what you want to create, what you're imagining about, what you're fantasizing about. Well, there's no point just fantasizing in your head about something. How do we bring it into reality? So this can be where you do take a step back a little bit and kind of look at the possibilities in the big picture. And you see, what am I doing now that's not working? You meet new people. And so you could be switching things up a little bit. This can bring in some healing energy as well, like your opportunity to really kind of let something go um, or face your fears as as well right in that so um, it can be a little bit of a tricky one however um, however um, in that energy because it's a blue moon something surprising may be revealed to you right it's like you might have a once in a lifetime opportunity or something right that portal can be opening for you and there could potentially be a little bit of magic and something manifesting new moon in cancer july 5th new moon in leo august 4th and that august 4th New moon, it's about taking bold steps to realize your dreams and turn something turn something around for yourself for love. Um, but this is coinciding with a Mercury retrograde. So um, this can be where you are switching things up a little bit in how you communicate with people, how you meet new people. Mercury retrograde, of course, notorious for, you know, sideways conversations and uh, things that kind of fizzle out or get a little bit out of hand, right? But Mercury is also, um, you know, about our thoughts, right? A little bit of confusion. So we do need to take a step back a little bit. Um, but this can also really be about technology as well. And either if you haven't been doing any online dating, maybe now this is the time you try something new. It works for some people, not for others. Um, or if you are online dating and you're just banging your head against a brick wall all the time or people get, you know, people ghost you or they chit chat for a week or two and nothing gets off the ground. Right. Maybe you're going to look at that and assess things a little bit differently and say to yourself, OK, I need to do something different to find love. Right. If this isn't working for me anymore. And I want to meet people face to face. So whatever your situation is, this can be about you really doing something a little bit different to make that love happen in your life or to increase your chances of finding love in your life. Right. We've got a full moon Aquarius on it's not that one um, full moon in Aquarius on August 19th as well. So look back to the beginning of the year, the new moon in Aquarius. What were your intentions and how far have you come? Don't forget to give yourself a pat on the back for everything you've accomplished whether in love or not, um, healing as well, right? But the full moon in Aquarius does tend to be a little bit magical, and that is on August 19th. So there could be something coming to fruition for you. We've got the Empress card showing up for you here. Wonderful. You, of course, are ruled by Jupiter, the planet of good luck, good fortune, abundance, growth, wisdom, um, all that stuff, right? And with the Empress card here as well, there's an abundance of love and abundance of possibilities that could be blossoming in your world. It's an awesome energy, right? Ruled by Venus. So this is a really good sign for you, very much so, right? Your ability to create 
love. But the Empress also says, and Venus says to you as well, you know, in our quest for love, we sometimes forget to take care of number one, and that's you. So, yes, we do want love, um, companionship from another person. But remember, love and happiness starts from within you, and then that's that energy that you project out. So do something nice for yourself. Take yourself out on a date. It can be very empowering if you've never done that, right? And it's great. And you don't eat the lobster, right? You don't owe anyone anything for that, right? So you're the one buying it. Um, you know, you don't have to, you know, um, decide where to go or what to do, right? But try taking yourself on in a date or do something really nice for yourself. That self-love that we, you know, that we do, it can make us feel really good. And of course, raise our vibe, right? And what happens with that? We attract, right? We attract some good stuff. We've got the strength card coming in here. This is Leo energy. And so there could be something in Leo season and these planets going through Leo that can really help you in your love life, right? So some great energy there. But the strength card does speak to your inner strength and it's reminding you about how strong and powerful you are. In some cases, you know, sometime in the past, maybe you've been battered or shattered and bruised. And in here, you're keeping it together. You're healing. The cracks are still sometimes there. Um, sometimes memories come up, but ultimately you're stronger than ever before. And, you know, you're being reminded of that in this energy. The strength card is also really reminding you that sometimes we need to be bold and courageous and get out of our comfort zone on our quest for love and opening up to meeting new people. Um, but sometimes we also need to take the softer approach, the more patient approach, right? Um, so we need to know, we need we need to embrace some discernment, right? Know when to go out roaring like a lion and know when to kind of take that little step back, right? So trust your instincts there with that. But yes, you could really be embracing some wonderful energy in Leo season, but you could also be attracting a Leo person towards you. There's the star card coming out there for you. Loving that. Okay, ruled by Uranus, the planet of great awakenings, um, sudden changes, and uh well, maybe some surprises headed your way. The star brings in a beautiful energy, hope and inspiration, but miracles and blessings also abound whenever we do get the star card. Um, when we're embracing some Aquarian energy, we're looking to the future, not the past. We're looking at the potential and the possibilities and not what won't ever be or what has been and hasn't worked out. Full steam ahead, futuristic energy, and this is where we're putting our focus, right? Putting it on today into tomorrow and no looking back with this one but make a wish upon a star because you just never know what might happen for you here in this energy we're connected with the universe your ability to harness the love the abundance the possibilities that the universe has for you and bring it into your reality is really highlighted here with this energy um like i said it is a big yes card um it can be a yes right here right now and it can be a yes for some time in the future but not to the too distant future because this energy we're covering two months here and sometimes the energies that we're activating here can take two, three, four, up to six months to play out for you, right? But it depends on your situation, right? So sometimes speedier, sometimes a little bit slower. But yes, this can also indicate that full moon in Aquarius, the middle of August, boom, something a little bit magical can happen for you. That might also be a really good full moon for you to set some intentions as well. We don't always do that at the full moon. It really depends on how you're vibing um, with that lunation. But, you know, why not harness um, Why not harness all of the abundance that full moon has to offer for you? But yeah, you could also be, um, you know, uh, attracting in an Aquarius person with that star or someone who is maybe a little bit spiritually inclined um, and someone that kind of sees things in a way that not everyone does. We've got the hanged man coming in here. Oh, we don't always like to see this guy, do we, right? Why? Because nothing's happening, right? Or at least that's what it seems. With the hanged man, you're encouraged to step back. You're encouraged to let go. You're encouraged to let the universe do its thing. And you're encouraged to just let the chips fall where they may. Be open to different things. Be open to meeting new people. But ultimately, let your worries and your fears and your doubts go. The hanged man is also where we do flip things around a little bit and we look at things from a different angle a different perspective um, we look at the possibilities right we look at maybe 
you know, how, what things are working for us and what's not. And we're like, yeah, you know what? I think, you know, I think I've got an idea. I think I know what I need to switch around a little bit, right? So by, by this changing perspective here, you could really turn around your path for love, right? So, but the hangman does um, bring in epiphanies and enlightenment and all that kind of stuff. So it may be that with the retrogrades going on, that you're more willing to take a step back and you're kind of looking at the big picture, you're looking at the future, um, you're assessing your, you know, what you're fantasizing about, what you truly want, right? And once you know, and then you're really very crystal clear. And then you come out, uh, come out roaring like that lion, right? Um, but the hangman patience may be required for you. And it is the first card in this series here. So this shows, you know, maybe this is the energy now and things are opening up for you. At least we hope so. We've got the Ten of Pentacles coming in here. So shebang. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of abundance and completion and success. This is where we're feeling really good. This is where we're feeling like we've accomplished something and all is right with the world. So the Ten of Pentacles is awesome. Now, some of you could have put your love life on hold, hangman, because you've been focusing on your money, your career, your family, Ten of Pentacles. And when we get the Ten of Pentacles, this is showing you're feeling stable, secure for the long term. Maybe you've got your home life under, wrap, under wraps. You got it all under control. Maybe you've had some success in your career path with your money. And now you're like, OK, what's next? Right. So this is really wonderful energy, but there could be something um, that, you know, is activating for you that may happen around your workplace or around a family gathering of some kind, friends and family, maybe. Um, so if you do get those invitations to go somewhere, right, to attend some sort of an event or celebration or something like that, right, um, reunion as well, um, you're encouraged to go in this energy, right? Because you just never know who you might meet or perhaps who you may be introduced to. Because the Ten of Pentacles can be a card of inheritance. And what's inheritance in love? Something handed down to us or something um, gifted to us. And so there could be someone who wants to give you the gift of love by maybe setting you up on a blind date. Ugh, right. Or, um, you know, but you never know. You never know. You just never say never. Right. Um, you know, or introducing you to a friend. Right. Or something like that. Or you could run into an old family friend if you go to a reunion of something. So, you know, never, never push away someone's help. Right. Because it's like we're pushing something away that the universe might be offering. Because the universe works in funny ways and sometimes through other people. But awesome energy there. Abundance of connections because we're creating the life that you want. The three of pentacles is showing you here that, well, teamwork and collaboration. So uh, you could have multiple people that you are connecting with. We're starting to get some abundance in here, right? So you're opening some portals, some doors to love. The Three of Pentacles is also the energy of creation, right? You're paying attention to the details. You know what you want and you are creating that life that you want. And in that creation, you're starting to see doors opening, you're starting to see possibilities, and you're feeling good in this energy, right? So that three of pentacles can be really wonderful. But yeah, you could have potentially more than one suitor. So you might need to make a decision. We have the eight of wands coming in here for you as well. Woo, speedy, speedy. The eight of wands is an awesome energy. There could be some really good news headed your way. You generally have very positive co uh, communication. With this one, the Eight of Wands can be very much about you setting intentions, knowing what you want, and bam, the universe is like, I got your back, Jack. Um, your intentions, whatever words you're putting out to the universe, they are on target. They are on point. But this is a busy energy as well. It's exciting. It's electrifying. It's filled with um, action and forward momentum, right? So here we've got no forward momentum here with the hanged man other than internal. And then here we go. Boom, things speeding up and kicking up a notch. So you could have some really good news. You could be getting out there having fun. There could be an abundance of possibilities for you opening the door. But yeah, some really great conversations. Um, could certainly be uh, in the cards for you there with that energy. So get excited. We also have the moon. So those lunations can be really impactful for you over the next couple of months. Um, strength card, new moon in Leo. Star card, full moon in Aquarius. So we can really use this energy to help you out. The moon also can speak to, it's the Pisces energy, right? Your dreams. 
what you're imagining, right? And so this is like your ability to turn your dreams into reality. Why? Because we're embracing some practical energy and we're taking action, right? And we're getting ourselves out the door. We're trying new things or we're doing something a little differently or facing our fears because the moon has us facing our fears as well. But the moon also really does speak to our subconscious, right? What is hidden? What's getting in the way? So I feel like here in this energy, you're figuring out why, you know, why I'm not so sure what I want out of love. What is blocking me from attracting people into my life? So we've got some beautiful energy that is coming in here for you, right? So you could be revealing something, a key aspect of yourself, or you could be getting some answers. Now, the moon, of course, can bring about creativity and some love and romance under the light of the moon, right? Um, but this also can bring... Um, you know, this energy of trusting your intuition, some spiritual insights and growth for you here with this. And, uh, you know, kind of figuring things out along the way. But I think your intuition will very much guide you. You're guided, guided by the stars, you're guided by the moon, and the universe ultimately has your back. But you could get a surprise, okay, or you might have some unexpected happenings going on. And uh, these can be kind of fun or enlightening along the way. And of course, like I said, the, the moon card there is Pisces energy. So we've got uh, we've got everything, right? We've got air, we've got fire, we've got earth, and we've got water. So again, you might have uh, options, right? Not so bad. Let's get some. Um, Let's get some soulmate manifestation cards for you. We're going to look at the images on the card. We're also going to read the keywords off of there as well. Look for uh, some uh, connections there. And then there's also messages there either from your soul or from your soulmate. We have a mirror energy here with ego. Open door. Love the open door and event. Uh, mirror energy as well with comfortable. Another open door with familiar. A ring completion, right? Aware. And we've got fortune. Sweet. All right. We love that. Okay. Fortune is yours. This is excellent. All right. A diamond for you there. All right. So the two mirrors. Okay. This is reflections, right? Reflections of you. Um, and this is really an energy of inviting you to reflect and go within, right? Which we do have the hangman there anyway. And this is making sure, um, this is this is your soulmate messages and also messages from your soul saying, are you really ready for love? Are you comfortable enough in your current situation to open those doors, right? Because even if we make a magical connection with somebody, we still need to rearrange some time and things like that in our lives to uh, fit them in, right? So this is really about you reflecting to make sure that you are very much ready, okay, for love. But we do have two open doors, an event, okay, don't be afraid to get out of the house more. It may be an opportunity for you to meet your soulmate. And for some of you here with this familiar energy, you could have that second chance, okay, um, or you could just feel the sense of familiarity with, with the person that you do meet when that timing is right for you, right? Um, whether virtually or in person, we've already met is the message on that card, all right? But we do have a completion here with the ring. The ring usually does uh, have a promise or a contract here. And the message, I've worked hard on becoming the best version of myself. I'm ready for a healthy relationship with my soulmate. And, of course, we've got the fortune card here, which is awesome. We are the absolute luckiest. Thank you, universe. Okay, so we've got doors opening for you. We need a little gut check here, right? Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. But your person could also be doing that as well, just making sure that they are really ready. Right. But ultimately, we've got this awesome energy of being ready and fortune shines upon you to meet somebody new and attract that soulmate into your life. So it's really awesome energy that is there. A little bit of start and stop, but ultimately the future is yours and good fortune is shining upon you. I'm going to leave all that there for you guys. I hope there was something in here for you. If there was, please do hit that like button. I appreciate it. It lets me know you resonate on some level. Um, but also sharing is caring. So like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It does let the algorithm know that you um, enjoy my company. But drop a heart in the comments down below. I will heart you back. We'll connect all of the love that we all have to give and attract stuff to you, right? So that's what we all, that's what we all want, right? So we'll attract some love um, all around. So I thank you guys for watching. Have a great summer and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.